So family dynamics are extremely important and relationship with your siblings, blah, 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 blah. I'm not here for the psychology lesson, so don't stress about that. But it's the same thing when it comes to PCs, is it not? It's all the components working in harmony and the relationships with each other and how they work together. But it, the funny thing about it is just like your mom who generally rules the roost, obviously everyone has different family dynamics, but your mom generally rules the roost and determines everything that goes on in the household. And it's the same thing when it comes to computers. So my question to you is, what is your relationship with your motherboard? How's it guys? Welcome back. And yes, today is the MSI B560 Tomahawk Wi-Fi edition from MSI. So before I open it and we start to get into the details of it, a lot of people take motherboards for granted. So a motherboard is something that determines how well all of your other components perform. Your SSD, your CPU, your RAM, everything graphics card if we're talking about PCI 3 to PCIe 4. So when buying a computer or looking to build a computer don't underestimate the importance of a motherboard and the specs on a motherboard. Before I get carried away in too much technical jargon what are we going to do today guys we're going to look at this and this was the very unit that I used in the MSI RAM overclocking competition in which I hit 4800 megahertz you'll be able to find it in the card there maybe I'll put it there I don't know um, wait and see. As is always, we're going to look at its design in terms of a motherboard. We're going to look at its specifications. We're going to look at its performance. And then lastly, we will look at its features. But as is always, let's look at this unit a little bit closer. Okay guys, design. Now before we run into design, when you get a motherboard, they come with a whole host of things inside. And I hope I'm not missing anything because I did use this. I did try to put everything back as perfectly as I could. However, when it comes to motherboard, you're gonna get a whole bunch of things. And in this one, you get some stickers, you get how to join the MSI uh, VIP program, which is pretty cool and something that you should look at because you can earn points and get Steam vouchers and stuff for every MSI product that you buy and register. But yes, there's a whole bunch of paperwork including how to install it. One thing that I found really odd, and I told MSI that I found this really odd. Why? Why, 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 why? Who's got a CD drive nowadays? So, don't need that, but then, we have got your SATA cables, which you will need if you are running a hard drive or a 2.5 inch SSD. Then your little antenna or aerials, if you do want to run Wi-Fi and you're not smart and want to run cable. Yes, there are elements. This is Wi-Fi 6E, so it is pretty cool, but use cables, guys. And then just some screws. Okay, down to the nitty gritty. Let's look at this board and let's be honest, it is not the prettiest looking board, I mean, but it's got everything that you need. So yes, I'm teasing on it that it's not the prettiest thing. It has one RGB, if you're into RGB, the IO heatsink does not have any RGB whatsoever. There's no uh, RGB on the MOSFET heatsinks. There's only underneath the chipset. So if you're into RGB or if you're into looks, this is not going to blow you back, but where it will blow you back. This is an entry level type motherboard and we'll get to price, which is actually phenomenal. And for that, you have been given so much on everything, which I'll talk in about specs because I just want to dive into that right now. But let's talk about the design. 
everything is pretty much stock standard as to where your MOBO will plug in, where your CPU will plug in, and so on and so forth. What they have is they've created two USBs, which you generally don't find on an entry-level motherboard. So good addition over there. As well as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fan inputs, as well as USB-C and USB-3 inputs, six different SATA inputs. So going further on that, you have got three NVMe slots and two of them have the heat sinks. I'm not sure if these are Frozo heat sinks, but I'm pretty sure they are because they're generally named under the same convention. Even being ugly, the IO heat sink and the MOSFET heat sinks are monsters that sit on here. So immediately you know that you've got very, very good cooling prospects with this motherboard. MSI is gone a very, very long way to include everything that you could possibly need on a motherboard that you only generally find on high-end motherboards or nowadays high-end motherboards that you're finding on an entry-level motherboard. So for that, huge, huge applause, especially for the fact, and we'll go through this in specs, just look how many USBs you are getting from USB 2 to USB 3 to USB-C, and I'll tell you exactly which type of USB-C. So design, does this board look amazing? No, but you can fix that with a couple of RGBs. The actual design of it is so well spaced out. When I built in it, it was like building in a dream. You didn't have to go and find, okay, where am I gonna connect this RGB header? Where am I gonna connect this RGB header? Because they've got your DRGB and then you've got RGB at the bottom, you've got DRGB and RGB at the top. You've got RGB for days on all of them. There's actually one, two, three, four pin headers and then on your uh, DRGB or J Rainbow, you've got two. Even the PCIe for the graphics card mounting is a reinforced one. So kudos and well done to MSI for a very ugly but very efficient design. Okay guys, spec time. So because we're dealing with a 1200 socket set which supports up to i9, we finally on a Intel motherboard have PCIe4. So that means that you're gonna be able to get the full complement from your graphics card as well as your SSD on the chipset. We also have, so if you look at the DIMMs, MSI has got a really cool feature called DDR4 Boost, which helps with direct channeling into the CPU to allow for your RAM to communicate faster with your CPU. As we spoke about, because of our little antenna, we do have Wi-Fi 6E. So if you do want to go the wireless route, you do have that option. So on the IOs, you will have one USB 2, the 2.5G LAN port. You will have USB 3 Gen 1, which is a five gigabits per second type A. Then really, really cool, you have the USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2, which is actually a dual lane 3.2. So basically two coupled together, which allows you to get to 20 gigabits per second. So if you do have a 2X2 device, it will allow you to reach at speeds through that USB Type-C connection. Further to that, we have got the ability to have DisplayPort. That's obviously if your CPU does have uh, integrated graphics on it. Then we have got the HDMI as well as your optical or SPDIF output for sound. So really, really good options coming out of this. The specs of this board are phenomenal because you can literally take any high-end component even the RAM allows you to clock up to 5,066 megahertz per second if you do have the RAM or the technical know-how to overclock your RAM to that type of speed. We do have eight channels, 7.1 sound with audio boost. Because this is an entry-level board, you're not gonna get a dedicated, well, there is a chip on it for sound, but you're not gonna get one of those high-end dedicated sound chips because we are dealing with an entry-level type board. So guys, overall on specs, I think that MSI has done a phenomenal job with regard to being able to give you everything to be able to really reach high-end gaming on an entry-level board, albeit the looks not being that fantastic. And I'm sorry that I keep on saying that. It, it looks okay, I'm sorry. So performance, and I've kind of already spoken about that when we talked about the features uh, or specifications with regards to the motherboard. So what I'll do is I'm gonna show you some of the benchmarks that were achieved when 
I had an 11700K plus a 3070 Ti and then a 5Q to 5.30 inside just so that you can see that this board pretty much brings the best out of all the components that you put into it. Okay guys, time to conclude. And yes, there is a host of things that I could have talked about, but that would have made this video 20, 30 minutes long because we are dealing with something that brings in everything together. So in conclusion, guys, this motherboard retails for three triple nine. Now I challenge anyone to try and find a board that does everything that this board does with the performance that it achieves and at that price. Yes, you may find one or two, but I believe that MSI have brought out a very stellar board here that offers the best of everything. Yes, you are gonna need to get some more RGB effects if you're looking at this, but if you are on a tight budget, but looking for something to get and squeeze that performance out of every single component, look no further than this board. I really enjoyed it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I look forward to seeing you on the next one, and thank you to MSI for sending and trusting me with this board, and I'm sorry for talking so ugly about the way it looks, but I'll paint it or something. Thanks guys, cheers, and have a good one. Bye-bye.